that. Miss Gucci Witchy. Oh, can you stop copying me, please? He's like moving his mouth to everything I say. He's behind the camera <sighs> because this is boring. Look at the camera. Tell your story. Okay, guys, I'm fucked in the head. Like I'm fucked in the head. Fuck. I am on a handful of medication. I have and at the same time I'm a redhead <laughs> and I'm a Pisces that's why my dad keeps telling me to get a job and how I need to like go further in life and I'm like I'm gonna OD on cocaine so you're also four foot ten. Four eleven, actually. Okay. My license says five foot. You lied on your license? Mm -hmm. That's so dramatic and illegal. Oh, and it's so bad because on my license it says I'm 105 pounds. How many pounds are you? Like 92 right now. I put my weight, like, I always say 130. And I did that too and I was like 150. Just because I was like, that's my goal weight. Yeah, I should have put like 75. Okay, dramatic. No, that was my goal weight. I hit it once. When you were six? He doesn't believe me. I do believe you. I'm batshit crazy. We went over that. I've been to <laughs> rehab eight times. <laughs> Not eight times. Yeah. I was in rehab in September of last year. No, two years ago now. I was in RTC for 16 days, which is where like, you can't leave. You're on lockdown. You don't, can't have your phone or anything. And then I moved on to PHP, which is where you are in rehab. You get your phone taken from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. every day. They monitor your phone, make sure you're not like texting drug dealers and shit. It's fucking bullshit. So I'm outside one day eating lunch and they had a pool there and they were on the same property. So like the people that were in residential walked past our area when we were in PHP. We're sitting there and all of a sudden this guy without a shirt on, catches my eye and i'm like fuck he's hot like fuck he's hot i walk over to the fence and we're not supposed to talk to them because the pool is fenced in so we, i walked over to the fence and i was like hey boy ew you did not i really did that's so cringy he liked it oh of course he did Go of on. course he did i'm like hey boy and he's like hey girl he said that what's your name andrew what's yours and i'm like miss gucci witch <laughs> Phil a fucking Mina. He was in RTC, so he wasn't gonna get out for like another, I wanna say, 15 to 20 days. I just was counting down the days because I found out that he was moving into the same halfway house that I was living in. That's, is that the actual, is that the slur name for yeah. where you were? Oh, because it's supposed to be called the sober living, but people call it halfway house. Yeah. When they're being like mean. Because you can either come from jail or you can come from rehab. Like it's open for both. I literally was on Craigslist and like, I, you can just stay there if you're sober. Yeah. I could literally go that, if I wanted to go to California, I could just move into a halfway house. But you're on Adderall. So I waited the fucking 20 days. He gets out. I didn't get his number yet. And then one day I was standing in my front yard because we had a swing in our front yard. It was so cute. It was like this little wooden swing. And it was really fun. Like you could go high. And I love being high. Oh. <laughs> Saw what I did there. I did, and I want to report you to the police. Okay. One day, I'm sitting outside on the swing, and my back is turned to the road. It's like I can't see across the street, which was the boys' halfway house. And all of a sudden, I hear, hey, girl. I turn around, and it's true. You describe him, but, like, keep in mind, he's just, like, some scrawny white boy. Like, this yeah. description makes him sound like he's some gangster, like, ooh, like, hey, mommy. Like, no, he had, like, a gap, too. It was so cute. He had a lisp. Oh, that's not very cute. Hi, me Hi, me Miss Gucci Witch. Annalise, is that you? You're gonna get your ass beat. I hear, hey, girl, and I turn around, and I, like, go walk into the middle of the road, and it's him, and I hug him, and I ask him how his day was, and he says good, and that he's still sober, and he had, like, 40 days sober, and I was really proud of him. So, like, we start hanging out. I get his number. He gets a job literally right next door to where my job was. I worked at Joe's Midnight Run in Phoenix. He work, worked or works at. <laughs> Things were going really well. Like we would walk all around cause I didn't have my car and we took the bus everywhere. We went to the gym and stuff. Like we were bougie. <clears throat> we would take the bus everywhere. We spent so much time together. I moved out of the halfway house and I moved into my parents' house 30 minutes away from where he was. And he didn't have a car and my, I didn't want to drive to Phoenix every day. We tried doing like, long distance like literally i hadn't seen him since i moved like i think it'd been like two and a half weeks i tend to develop deep rooted feelings very quickly so he threatened to break up with me yeah 
psycho mode kicked in because like no one fucking dumps miss gucci witch <laughs> i had to no one fucking dumps phil Minache. the night before he practically raped me like uh, what i never told you this but this really happened we were on his couch right and he was like fingering me his parents were in bed he was staying at his mom's house and he's fingering me and we're like on his couch and then i kid you not Pick up, flip, rip pants off, stick in, boom. Kid you not. And I was like, I'm tired. And he was like, one sec, baby, one sec. And I'm like, I want to stop. And then he's like, fuck, I just came in you. And I'm like, cool. I haven't been on birth control in like a year, so <laughs> awesome. So like there really was a possibility that I was pregnant because I have been pregnant before. I had a miscarriage, I'll tell that story some other time. I came over to Sam's house and on the way, I was like, I'm picking up a pregnancy test and we're gonna draw on it. Because I wanna do a YouTube prank. Yeah, we were gonna do a YouTube prank on him. Like calm and like get like a really like crazy reaction. Like I thought, a dramatic like, episode. Yeah. I think I'm calling him. And mind you, I have a doctor appointment in two days at this point. So I call him and I'm like, hey, like I know we're broken up, but uh, Keep in mind, I'm filming during all that, too. Like, it was supposed to be like an actual prank. Yeah, like, this was supposed to be actual, like, pranking. And then he picked up. And, and then... he picked up, and he was so sweet. Like, he sounded like the most kind-hearted gentleman <laughs> I've ever met in my life. He was so fucking nice about it. He was so nice. I'm like, Drew. I went to the doctor, and I, uh... What do you he was like, do? oh my god, I'm so sorry. I can't have a kid right now, but what do you want to do? Like, if you don't believe in abortion, we can keep it. But, like, I don't know how I'm going to do this. And he starts freaking out, but he's, like, still being really nice and supportive. And he's like, I got you, babe. Like, we'll do this together. And I'm like, fuck, yeah. Like, it's working. Like, we're getting back together. And then I had to scrap the video because he was too nice. And I was like, this is actually really sad. And I put yeah. that up. Like, like it was fuck. so sad. And then, like, once you start a lie that big, you can't really stop it without, like, ruining your life i just kind of start to believe my own lie i started to believe that i was pregnant everyone else was like doubting me because i'm me and sam was saying he'll shove a metal hanger up my vagina to abort it for me this continued we went to my doctor appointment and the results came back negative and i still am like no i still gotta take this thing to the grave i tell him i'm like look I talked to the gynecologist. They said in the first couple of weeks, it's not accurate. Like you could get some falses, you could get some positives. You can't really know, but if you are getting positives, it's probably true. And he was like, Fuck. we're driving and we drive past this little tiny dinky place. And I guess it said like palm reading or something. And he's like, oh my God, let's go see a psychic. And I was like, Okay. So then like the whole car ride, I'm thinking, I'm like, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant. Because it's all about the energy. Like, ah, that's how that they That is not how people are bored. It's all about the energy. Just believe I'm it. I'm not saying that. I'm saying like, I'm saying like, psychics read your energy. So if I put that energy out, that's what the psychic's going to see. Well, psychics aren't fucking real, so. Yeah, they are. This one was bullshit, though. <laughs> Where was I? You went... To the psychic oh yeah so we go to the psychic and i walk in and the first thing the fucking lady does she has like her whole bandana gypsy shit going on and so the first thing she does she like jogs up to me and she puts her hand on my stomach and she goes baby are you having a are you expecting and i was like i am oh we love science <laughs> Oof. and drew lost his shit he punched a wall where at the psychic he punched a fucking wall. It didn't break. So she leaves the psychic and then she tells everyone she's fucking pregnant. And we're all like, that's not how it works. Like just because a psychic told you you're pregnant doesn't mean you're pregnant. Even though the whole time she knew that the gynecologist had told her she's not fucking pregnant. And then she kept up that fucking lie for like literally three weeks. We literally went to a gas station. Oh my God, yeah. There's this gas station near my old high school where uh, like all these young dweebs hang out. Dweebs? Are you fucking 14? Like why is that your insult? These fucking kids hang out and they're like from my old high school. They were freshmen when I was supposed to be a senior. And it was just all a mess. And so I think I went in to buy you cigarettes because I don't think you were yeah, 18 at the time. Remember when they you pulled up and they were like, Philomena, and they were like, how are you? And then you fucking roll down the window and went, I'm good, I'm pregnant. 
And then we were like, no, you're not. And then they were like, oh my God, you're pregnant. And then we literally park the fucking car and then you get out and go into the gas station and walk out with three packs of cigarettes and they're all just staring at you like, what the fuck? And then you light up a cigarette and drive away smoking and they're all like standing there with their fucking mouths <laughs> on the floor like, what the fuck? Yeah, I remember that. It was my birthday in March, and we're all at Brio, and That's I ate much. a shit ton Thanks, of guys. Food. Have a great no, day. No. And all that. So I had a food baby, and I was picking up my shirt, and they all were taking pictures of me, and they were like, oh, my God, she's expecting, like, you can see her baby bump, like, and I was sending it to Drew. A couple nights later, I relapsed. I called him in my drunk stupor, and I was like, bah! <laughs> You believed me? You thought I was pregnant? Like, jokes on you, motherfucker. That boy was mad. Blocked me on everything. Apparently, his brother had given him, like, $800 for an abortion. He already got the money. I mean, hey, I got him free money. We break up. I don't hear from him. A couple months go by, like, maybe three, four months. I'm at a carnival. A cocaine anonymous carnival. <laughs> All of a sudden, guess who I see? I see fucking Drew walking in with this basic blonde bitch. I shouldn't say that. Who is it? Oh, you'll hear. He downgraded, like, I'm a redhead and he went to a blonde, like, honestly. A couple months go by, I find out that they're still dating. He gets promoted to the manager of the halfway house, so he's, like, balling. He gets his red Cadillac DeVille. Ooh, we love a come up. <laughs> we love a come up. And I'm over here homeless, breaking my toe. Oh, getting surgery, not keeping up a job. So, like, I could technically blame him for why my life is the way it is today. Then I go to hang out with my friend Dayton one Sunday for a meeting. And all of a sudden, he's, like, really depressed. And I'm like, yo, what's up? Like, what's up? And I kid you not, he goes, do you know Kennedy, Drew's girlfriend? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, she did heroin for her first time last night and died. <laughs> She's dead. Like, I felt so bad. Like, I felt like that was my karma. Because, like... Like, he never really did anything wrong. Like, he raped me, but it was, like, partial. I wasn't saying, no, stop. I was just like, can we not, like, please stop. Follow my Instagram and Twitter. They're both Miss Gucci Witch, just same like as on YouTube. here. What about um your private Snapchat? I don't promote my private Snapchat on here. <laughs> my real Snapchat is Lil, L-I-L, Princess P, all one word. Oh, yeah, and don't forget to add Sam. He is I'm Sam Cook. I'm Sam Cook. I am S A M C O O K. That's my Instagram and my Twitter. And then my Snapchat is Sam Cook 000. So add me on all that. Oh, my YouTube. I'm stupid. My YouTube. Say. I'm Sam Cook. That's, um, yeah. So go to my YouTube and then you can watch my videos and then you can go to other shit. Um, we love you guys. We love you. Have a great night or day wherever you are. Don't kill yourself, kids. I've said that four times. Bye.